this is it. But well, here we go. Two Brawl veterans on the stage. Terror Bear versus Larry. This is like my first time seeing them actually play in Ultimate. Or even, I never, I haven't seen them play in Smash 4 either. So. This and is remember, Terror Bear just lost against Charlie, who was also playing Wolf. So mm -hmm. this actually this will be a testament to the skill because Charlie is very flashy, but Wolf on Larry, way more methodical, way more, I guess, disciplined in a way. God. I think this one's gonna go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Larry is also gonna have to take some games to figure out how to deal with Banjo as well. Like how Charlie had to like slowly learn how to uh, tear us playing and then make the clutch like reach. So. Yeah, but it's not. It's not good that. I don't know why Terror Bear is it, like the nerves or not. He's been messing up his grenade reverses a lot more. Yeah. That's costing him like a valuable resource of Wonder Wing. Yeah, it's true. Oh, oh my. I thought he was going to try to combo into that one, but the attack not able to take it just yet. Grabbing in the wrong way for both of them. And the grenade. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Can't believe he swung at that. If Terry just released it earlier. Nice. I love that. Oh, oh my the flex! Oh my god, the flex parry into the Wonder Wing. Like, you know, you know the creators are doing something. Oh my goodness, for this string? You look like Sheik out there. That was like so fancy. I went through like yeah, 35. Yeah, that up there does like so little. But he's still going. I mean, keeping Larry in disadvantage, even if he doesn't do a lot of percent, the percent itself will add up over time the more you force him to waste his jumps. Here comes this recovery. Oh no, it actually works against them in this time. Oh, he said, get that one ring out of my face. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. No oh my way. goodness. His grenade play is so good. Oh my. Oh, he oh. lost a <laughs> jump. No percent taken. Terror Bear, oh my god, he's a madman with Banjo. Look at this. How safe that egg play is in the lake. Like, you can't contest that. There's all hitboxes coming out. Like, sure, you reflect that. He gets hit. Then he just grabs him to live right back. And this is really difficult and definitely a testament of skill right now. Larry, like you said earlier, definitely gonna need a few games for this match. Yeah. Oh my god. Up there almost in my spike yeah. out of his jump. That would have been so bad. Great grab. Into the bear for a little more damage, but Larry right now he's trying to search for answers at this yeah. point. It's rough because you want to play slower to figure out how to deal with Banjo, but the more you play slow and not pressure him, that gives him more time to set up. And it's like another like facet of dealing with a zoning character like this. And also gives Terrible more time to learn more about Larry. Yeah, exactly. Let me tell you, and if, if Terrible's been doing his research, there are plenty of bots to see what Larry's been doing up to. Him. And he has have plenty of time seeing what Larry's doing against Kira, so he's got to be careful oh. trying to use the reflector, but even then, he still didn't barely got anything out of that. Oh man, burns both Wonder Wings trying to get us. Uh, trying to get rid of Larry's last talk about too. Larry's taking so much percent gradually. Like it feels like Tipper has not been hitting him that much, but like he already finds himself like kill percent while Terry's just sitting here chilling on his second stock. Like that, that's what you take those. Like it's still slowly whittling it down. Like it catches you off guard. So you're like, oh, I haven't got hit by much. Up tilt. Should have been up tilt. Super mash from a. Larry there. He's still like a lie. Like, remember last year he lived at like what, 160, 180, 160? Yeah. Like, it's crazy what he could do. And oh, that's a semi spike. Trying to get the two frame as well. And the fair, not enough to take it at all. And he's got the grenade in mind wow. to keep himself in check. God, what a hard way. And he's done. Uh, he's out of here. He's gonna do the face. Aw. Oh. That's when he's like tries to turn around and he like faces the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Uh -huh. Oh, he didn't do it. What the heck? I was ready for that. It sucks. My favorite part about Banjo winning. It's alright. Great stuff for Terror Bear. I think that was a, yeah, that was a two stock. It's, uh, I don't know. It's rough. Larry actually does think Banjo's a very good character and, like, really underrated in the meta from what he said earlier. <coughs> but even with his thoughts like that, that might not mean that he's still familiar with how he's supposed to approach this character. Even though he respects, like, Banjo's tools. He like, might even respect him a little bit too much. Like right now. Like, yeah. he's really respecting those projectiles, and he still gets eaten with one of them. And Leech into so much damage, he's actually stuck on the ledge, 28%. It may not seem much, remember, Terror Bear. It's, it's the small knife that kills. Yeah. He's just gaining, like, this chip damage over and over. 
And then, like, once you get frustrated from that, that's when he finds you, like, overextending and he gets these big punches. That crosses of shield? Yeah, the little dash forward. Oh he caught the cross oh with the nade? Oh. Yeah, oh, good job by Larry. Most players would like to shield in that moment, but Larry realized that. If Jump City got a shield broken, I'm not taking the risk yeah, of that one either. Just ran out of the way. But it also seems like anytime Terror Bear like, is in a disadvantaged state and feels panicked, he tends to throw them out a lot more than usual, and he's already allowed his last Wonder Wing. But to be fair, Larry Lur is at the percent for Wonder yeah. Wing to kill, almost like even seventh stage. Exactly. I think he might have one left. He always keeps one on hand. That's yeah, not the fair end. My goodness. <laughs> Like, like, how Terror plays is like so like, strange to see, and he's gonna use the Wonder Wing right here. To oh, make yeah, sure. he has to use the recover. What? Oh! oh! Catching the grenade for good measure. Larry with a hard earned first stop. That took so long for him to get, but oh! Man, he tried to get that super early kill. Like, he wanted to maximize his potential! Oh! And that's he exactly knew it. how you cash out Yo. with a two. Stock lead, double forward air, wolf flash. Yo, Charlie, where you at? Yeah, yeah, where's Charlie at? Where Somewhere Charlie? Charlie is smiling. That banjo just got wolf nah, flash nah. combo. He doesn't even know it. Like, he, like, anytime, like, anywhere in the world, <laughs> when he hears the wolf flash combo, he, like, looks up. <laughs> he, like, howls at the moon or something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah beautiful stock from Larry, putting him back into the game, but don't sleep on Terry's ability to make these comebacks happen. You already saw what he can do. I thought it was for it. <laughs> if you went for it twice, then you would have been a god. But it would have been totally warranted with the stock that he has. Great parry coming into play, but it's just projectile, so not much ground gain in the drag down back there, actually. With the one-two tech dragging you down into that awkward situation, the up air extended combo more. Terror, he went almost back a little too low, but here comes the grab, and let's try to be so good. But here comes the grenade. <laughs> Alright, so chilled the kicks, man. Yeah. Got the grenade on deck. See, when Terror is in huge disadvantage, that's when he starts to crumble. Yeah, yeah. I see he's just like are matching a lot more like panic options or it's like super risky plays. And Larry's just gonna eat that type of playstyle up all day. So uh, yeah, great turnaround for Larry. I mean he looked kinda lost game one and then turned it into a two stack. So uh, his uh, download speed is relatively high, I would say. Like, especially with, uh, remember the game with, um, with Charlie. Remember, he started holding F Smash for no reason when yeah. he was a stock behind. Like, yeah, that's yeah. the desperation that comes in. And like you said earlier, Char Larry loves those kind of players. Yeah. He's just such a, like, no-nonsense type player. Like, he rarely gets to pop by things that are just, like, nonsensical. <laughs> As you see him shut his blaster four or five times, and the only time he goes for such like a flash move like that is because he knows that is the best option to go for. Oh goodness. He's switching I up his game plan. I wonder if the lasers can go through the uh, the eggs. Remember, they don't they impact; they explode on impact. Oh, okay. That's what we saw last time. Okay, with Charlie. Doing the best. Oh, oh great. Right. Yeah, he held down to get past the ledge to avoid the re-grab punish. Great awareness by him, but Terror Bear. Doing a really good job. Here comes the camp one more, but remember, Larry Lur. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Chasing Banjo in that situation was so scary. And eating nades a lot more, too. He's got to be careful. Jumping up left and right. Here comes the dash attack. Catches him out, and he's got to, have to recover. Oh, my God. Yeah, the music sync. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. the sync with the music. It's crazy. It's the corner. Yeah. Oh! Oh man, that barely missed. Oh, he actually broke out of the grab and the up air barely misses out. Oh, he still misses too. He's waiting him on the ledge back here, forcing him off stage. Oh, Wolf free back flash. throw? He's dead, right? Yes, yeah, he is. That back throw is no joke. What? <laughs> if he got this stock off that foot, so I would have been nice. Oh, goodness. Here comes the eggs. This is where Terra shines when he's in a projectile and an advantage. Yeah. It's just, uh, Zorns in general are so good in that position because you're forced to approach them, and the more risky plays you make, that you're more likely to get hit by these projectiles and get even more frustrated. But I don't know, I feel like Larry's very disciplined. You won't getting, let, uh, getting zoned out make him play any worse. As you say. Yeah. He would play very, you know, by the book. 
wait for his opening, play patient. That might be like a good um, counter to you know the type of matchup that he's playing right now. He's a uh, he, he's like, he's like the brains player. Yeah. Right, he's got it down by the books and something unorthodox like this, it threw him off for game one, but then he started getting that down move down. It's like, like a pretty representation of what kind of player he is, honestly. Yeah, and right so. now he's in a bit of a struggle with Care Bear, both in a neutral game, but Larry does not care. He will play it back like this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh he and needs that. to be careful. Oh, uh, what happened there? I wasn't sure where he threw the grenade. But Wow just got on his up so Oh my If you gotta confirm off of that now, but it's nuts, but, but you can't do that. Again, Aunt Larry with the optimal punish on the Wonder Wing. Securing that stock despite this really patient play. Now this is where Care Bear needs to play safe. This is where he starts like, you know, start making some decisions that we don't agree with yeah. in this area. And I definitely agree that Banjo's like aggressive options when he doesn't have projectile to cover them or he's just super punishable for sure like Wolf. So yeah, Terry's gonna have to try and stick to the same game plan and Larry has no qualms just hanging back shooting the gun. Yep, and he only and when he finds a small window, he'll hit you for a few times, press you into disadvantage, and when he doesn't feel comfortable, he can just resets right back to neutral. Yep. Oh, he's doing such a great job. Like, even though Terror Bear is behind, his movement is so good. Like, yeah. he manages to weave around and that backwards nades. I can go on for days about how good it is, but Larry Larry, he's just trying to end it, and I don't like those random L, sma L smashes, I should say. Yeah, I mean, Larry's, like, definitely camping him out, so, like, he's trying to get this stock as best he can, even if it means throwing out, like, a random F smash. But Larry's just not falling into it. He's not the guy who falls for that kind of stuff. He's really sticking to the books, playing backwards. Every time he sees a nade, he gets around it. And every time he sees him in that egg, oh my goodness. Every time he sees him shooting the egg, he tries to cross the box in order to get behind him. Or just shoot the gun to stop it in place. Oh, that, yeah, you can't do that. Bye. All right, we'll use this jump. Big resource used in these grenades. are doing a really good job covering them, but 150? Yeah. It's not smelling too well for him. That's the way Larry's playing. Like, he's, he's fine with, yeah, the gun just like has a really high chance of going through Banjo's projectiles. Oh, big Right aspect. between the legs, too. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Oh In the gap between yeah. the egg uh, yeah. hitbox as well. Yeah. That's I like hurt. it. So this is 2-1. Larry trying to end the Cinderella story of Terror Bear getting all these upsets in this bracket. And uh, yeah, really just like, just, I don't know how to say, like he's just refusing to interact with Banjo unless he has a almost guaranteed punish. And even when he does get a hit, he's not overextending whatsoever. At least so far in that previous match, that's all I saw from Larry. And, and it, it forces Care Bear to make the risky choices that yeah. get him punished. And Care Bear's risky choices, let me say, are quite outlandish. Yeah. I just don't think Banjo's buttons are like really good for that in this matchup with a wolf who has so much safe moves that can punish really hard. <laughs> yeah, they're just throwing a projectile war right now, it doesn't matter. At least in Larry's eyes, you know? Right? Oh, there you go. Oh. You gotta be careful. Once you get clipped by that, it's a nice amount of damage, but that's all Barely Banjo needs to get started. But there we go, Larry. 59, 69, the magic number. Larry doing such a good job. Oh, he's gonna regrab ledge. Oh man, he stayed on the ledge so long. I thought he would have buffed for a neutral grip or a roll in that situation, but Larry immediately saw the opening and took it. And now first stock again with Roy to Larry. Oh goodness, the cross up as well. It, it even seems like that Terror Bear is starting to fall apart too. Like his usual game plan isn't working. He goes for these really desperate attempts. Sure, he's on point with these parries still and catching him on there. But remember that little run back. You don't want to do that against Wolf. He's to reach you with his with his aerials. Yeah. And he has that great dash tag to cover so much range as well, like that. Oh my god, double dash attack. Watch out for the grenade. That's one thing Larry hasn't done that Charlie did, is that every time Charlie saw him lay jump with Nade, he would trade with a smash. And that's something Charlie, or sorry, Larry hasn't slipped to any effect so far. But once he does, Terry is going to have to make up his ledge out for quite a bit. I mean, that's, that's, you know, it's like funny if you think about it. It's like, oh, finally catching him from the up tilt. It's so funny, because like... Charlie's going for those risky trades. Ooh. Larry prefers really not to. Yeah, that's true. He's but, trying to minimize the damage. Yeah, yeah. He definitely minimized the damage. He only took seven while getting that back there to kill. Terror potentially. 
on the last stock of his tournament run. I hate to see it end so early. Well, I guess we just found it that early, but Larry might be the nail in the coffin for his banjo right now. Oh, Double dash attack. Yeah, fair to side special with Flare. You gotta end it like that. Yeah, just end it with some Flare. Oh! Yeah, th that's the terrifying movement that Larry has. Did you see he, like, Boreard him and destroyed the grenade at the same time? Well, I didn't know he could do that. Like, he didn't even trade with the grenade. He just, like, flat out destroyed it. We're finding out a bunch of new things about Banjo. Oh! What did I say? Oh, my goodness. All down the top. Gets interrupted out of his Wonder Wing. And Terry on his last legs here. Larry with a whole stock advantage. Oh, it's Shield Poke. Oh my god, he's like, yeah, he's he has swing. nothing left to lose. And there's a ledge jump getting covered. F tilt gets him out of there. Terror Bear, unfortunately, not able to get another up tilt over Larry Larry, but something to be proud of. Getting in third place in a, such a stacked tournament, coming out of nowhere with the banjo, and just turning a lot of heads with this character. Uh, yeah, even Larry's you know. talking about it, it's like, wow. Great like stuff. It. So we actually get Charlie versus Larry in Grand Wolf Final. Wolf Ditto Grand.